Hey guys, all muscle. Ran into a little problem on the LS swap on the G body. So I'm gonna go over that with you here. Uh, and as you can see there, there are two oil pans. One on the left is gonna be the GM muscle car pan and then the one on the right is the Holly 302-3 and this video is going to be about uh, clearance issues on the G body and what problem I ran into so <coughs> excuse me let me uh, take you in here and show you what uh, what I ran into as far as uh, as far as the problem that uh, or actually I had a, a couple of problems uh, first off, uh, obviously a clearance issue with the oil pan and that uh, uh, that was the biggest of the problems because I had to pry the motor back out uh, because it wasn't able to sit down fully on the mount. So the problem was is I was not getting enough clearance on the on the lower portion of the frame right about there. So the corner of the oil pan would hit on the GM muscle car pan. And then the second issue I had uh, was the evaporative cooler, or the, I'm sorry, the evaporative uh, casing, uh, which is, you can see some scratches on it there. I kind of scratched it uh, with the right side coil that's on the motor. So I'm gonna show you the, uh, the right side coil that's gonna be intrusive there. It's not gonna fit uh, properly, so what I'm gonna have to do uh, is get a coil relocator or relocation bracket uh, from what I've seen is they make some brackets that will relocate the coil up into a higher position and you won't have an issue so this is the coil here this is the last coil on the right side and that is the uh, this is the problem area it'll hit right in here so that's gonna have to be addressed but uh, not not till a later date I'll just take the coils off and then I'll put the motor in I'll set it up on the mounts and hopefully it'll work out with this new pan that I just got. So here's the uh, here's the Holly mounts. Uh, these are part of the uh, Blackheart uh, LS swap system, I believe is what they call it. And if you use these mounts, you cannot use the GM muscle car pan. And uh, from what I hear, you can't use anybody else's cross member without modification. I'm sure anything anything you can modify, you can modify yourself and make it all work, but uh, in this swap here, I wasn't looking to do any of that. I wanted something that bolted right in, and this that didn't work with the muscle car pan. So uh, I'm gonna show you here. Uh, I've already modified the windage tray. You can see here, it's already been cut. This was a full uh, length tray, and it was all the way all the way up to the front of the motor. So that had to be cut in order to clear the uh, pickup tube. Let me show you the pans here at this point. Alright, there we go. Sorry guys, this is my first time with this camera. I still gotta learn how to use it. Got a new camera. Anyways, uh, like I said, this one here is the Holly pan. Uh, let me just set this one up and show you the depth. Right off the bat, you'll see that the depth of it uh, on the the muscle car pan is t sits taller a good amount it's, it's a solid I don't know I would say two and a half inches at least uh, taller than the uh, than the Holly pan and when I had the motor almost sitting in uh, basically I just couldn't get it to sit flush on the mount uh, it was already hanging underneath the uh, lowest point of the frame so uh, I'm gonna flip these over here and show you uh, them side by side while they're laying flat on a flat surface here, so bear with me here. <coughs> All right, so right side by side, side by side comparison. So there's your there's your difference. You got one that's noticeably taller than the other. That's the GM muscle car pan. Now, uh, from what I understand, is this it's basically just a Hummer. A Hummer pan. Now I wanted to go with the GM pan initially because it was it was two hundred dollars versus Holly's three hundred and sixty dollar unit, and I just couldn't see you know um, spending that much on an oil pan. So what if it hung you know it hang, uh, hung two inches lower? Uh, I wasn't gonna s slam the car down and 
uh, you know, have it riding right on, you know, right above the ground or anything. So I, it didn't really bother me. So I was going to go with that. And from some of the things that I read, uh, some people said that they had success with it with certain mounts. Now with the Holly mounts, this did not work, and I can confirm that with you. Uh, the area that I uh, was hitting, in particular, if you could see here, there was some uh, hitting going on here, some rubbing on the uh, on the on the on the belly. And then uh, there was some uh, rubbing on the uh, center link on the uh, what's on the steer on the center on the steering uh, center link. So uh, basically, you had two points that were hitting. And then also uh, at the very end, I actually dropped the center link uh, because I, I figured I would just modify that or get a modified center link, and I would just keep going. So I, I dropped it, and I thought it would I would sit in there. It gets real close, but then you start having issues right in this area here. I think this, this if you can see, there's gouging and, and scratching here. So this pan actually just basically got bolted up, and then uh, I tried to set the motor in, and the pan was taken out. It's still a brand new pan. Uh, I'll be putting that up for sale uh, on my uh, on my store on my eBay store, uh, Golden State Auto. I'll have it on there. Uh, so here, this is the the Holly pan. Uh, the 302-2 was an option, and a lot of people. Uh, you are getting the 302-2 uh, but what I was seeing people doing is once they had the pan uh, they would set it up and mock it up and rotate the motor and they were getting uh, uh, they were getting interference here in this area so the 302-2 only has a small uh, little uh, indentation here whereas the 302-3 had a lot more clearance in this area and that's why I went with it because I want to avoid any type of modification or grinding away at any of the metal uh, due to uh, I guess what was hitting here on the 302-2 uh, was the uh, the rod one of the uh, nuts on the back of the rod uh, would come down and hit depending on the orientation of where it was actually snug down to if it was snug down to where the corner of the nut would come down and hit it would be just that much I, I don't know maybe like fifty thousandths or so and uh, if the bolt had been tightened into, into a fashion, let me see if I can explain this a little bit better with a nut here. Okay, so let's say this is uh, <coughs> this is the uh, the uh, rod uh, nut. Let's just think this is a nut here for a second. If the uh, nut was tightened down and this corner uh, was tightened into fashion where it was in this in this location. It was going to hit, but if you happen to have it like this, it would come down and barely miss. So that was an issue. So I opted for the 302-3 pan because this was already carved out here, and it looked uh, like it was going to have no issues at all. So I checked it, I, I put it up there, and it looked it, it, the turned the motor turned over fine. It was perfect. So I'm not uh, I'm not worried about that there. So at this point. I uh, just wanted to put uh, some information out there about the uh, muscle car pan and the G-Body. Uh, if you're using the Holly mounts, the Blackheart uh, kit, you're not going to get those. Uh, you're not going to get that pan to work. So forget about that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this pan on the Holly pan, and I'm going to set the motor in because they advise to set the motor in and then come back in and install the transmission uh, because of this coil uh, problem and gouging up the. Uh, the casing there on the back of the firewall so uh, I'm gonna try to do that which uh, I think is gonna be a pain in the ass because uh, I always drop the motor and transit as a complete unit it's a lot easier for me that way and I don't have to get in there and try to uh, uh, get in tight you know tight spaces especially those upper trans uh, bell housing bolts those are kind of a pain in the ass at some points uh, depending on your tunnel so we're gonna we're gonna see what this does uh, again, I got a 4L60 going behind that uh, LS1. We're going to keep trucking on this. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we have any further updates. All right, you guys, take care for now.